Okay, our last song. Um, this is, we've been working on the Buddy Holly songbook, and this is a really, really great slow song by him. It's called True Love Ways. Peter and Gordon did it. Uh, it's just a beautiful song. So to play with Buddy, uh, there's some, so the chords are not too bad. We're going to capo on three, make the chords a little bit easier for us. So get your capo all set up there. All right. And uh, the chords are G, B, up, B minor, which you can either play zero, uh, open four and then uh, open on four and then uh, four, three, two on the top strings. Or you can bar and go two, four, four, three, two. That's a really pretty chord. Uh, C, D, okay, A7, and A minor 7, which is simply uh, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0, 0, 2, 0, 1, 0. That's an A minor 7, a D. Now, there's a thing in here I made up. <laughs> it's, uh, I, it's, a, it's a chord. I don't know what the name of it exactly is. I call it a D7 with a G. So I'm playing the D7 chord, right, 2, 1, 2. But now I'm adding... I'm instead of playing the two on the high E, I'm playing three on the high E with my little finger. So it's two, one, three. Or zero, two, one, three. That's that's what I call a D7G. Okay, so you have a D7 in there sometime, or a D, and then that D7G. And then, okay, now there's a C minor. Take your B minor, you either play it this way or you play it this way, it doesn't matter and slide it up just one fret. So now I'm playing five, four, three, or I'm playing three, five, five, four, three. That's your C minor, F we know. Okay, B flat, B flat, play uh, three, three, one. Three, three, one on top three string. Don't play the fourth, just play three, three, one. Or you can bar it and play one, three, 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 one or just three, three, one, or work for a D, B. And that's the chords in the whole song, okay? All right, it's, got, it's a really pretty song. It's got strings in it and all that. So we'll go through it first, and then we'll play along with Buddy and see how it goes. Now, what I do with this one, you can either do a real slow strum with your pick, and all I'm doing is just an up and down. So here's my G. I'm starting about the fourth string or so and just going up. So here's my G, B minor, C, D. Just play it that way, or you can use your fingers and do the same kind of picking. And with that, I'm adding a few more bass notes in there. I'm picking like, like this, but it's still basically an arpeggio. Okay. Okay, so whatever works in there for you is going to be just fine. So let's go ahead and play. Just you know. That's that C sharp minor or C C minor. Then F. And then uh, back to what does it go to? It's G. So you go C minor. Then F. It's in G. Then that B minor.
there's your instrumental. Da, then you hear a lot of strings. Now, a B minor seven. You can do this by playing, you can play a straight D on it, which is okay. You can get by with that. But I like to bar at the second fret. I bar the first three strings, put my second finger at B on three, and add my ring finger on D at four. So I got four, two, three, two. That's a B minor seven there. It's like a B minor, but um, it's this. So it's four, two, three, two. So we're playing that instrumental starting in the G. There's that B minor seven. C, D, now you repeat. G, B minor seven. C, D, G, A, E minor. A minor seven, that funny D seven G, G, C, G. Now into the C minor. Days are true away. F or G B flat. Bring us joy to share with those who really care. D and then the G. All right, so let's play along with Bud and see what it sounds like. Instrumental. Gonna finish it out. No true love ways. 
So there you go. Buddy Holly. Ah, he's tough to beat. You can sing rock and roll and sing the ballads. Ah, I like a guy. I like that. Plus, I like the way he looked. <laughs> looked like me in younger days. Sure. Okay. Thank you, buddy. So that's Buddy Holly's part of his songbook. We've covered a few songs of his. Um, just by anything you pick out of his is pretty good. So um, all right. I'll see you later this week. <laughs>